You know, people misunderstand all kinds of things about the nature of God, which leads them to say interesting things like, if everything that begins needs a beginner, then so does God. Or, hey man, if every effect has to have a cause, then God has to have a cause. Or even, if God created everything, then something or someone had to create God. There it is, a boom, mic drop. No mic drop. Pick it up because those statements don't merit such a thing. And here's why. Basically, we got three French hens. Two hurl above the far ridge as a tear free. What? Yep. Shooting them down nice and easy. One ultimate statement kind of spun as three. Bumbled briefly by Bub because brevity bespeaks benevolence benefiting belabored beholders. And pull. Statement et un. As no one from France would say, but I ain't French. If everything that begins needs a beginner, then so does God. And that would be a great point if God began. But the statement says everything that begins needs a beginner, not that everything needs a beginner. God didn't have a beginning, so he doesn't need a beginner. He is, as the Bible declares, eternal and everlasting. On to el statementado de doso, which probably doesn't mean what I think it should. If every effect has a cause, then God has to have a cause. Well, again, that would be a good point if God was the effect of something, but he wasn't, because nothing caused God. He's the uncaused cause who causes all other causes. This means he's the only necessary, uncreated anything. All other things are created and contingent, therefore in need of said cause. And so we're here at La Statementanto de Finale as once spoken by nobody from Italy or anywhere else, I imagine. If God created everything, then somebody or something had to create God. Well, that doesn't really follow because, again, God is eternal and unmade. Sorry to be repetitive, but nobody or no thing created God. And he certainly didn't create himself because that would be, well, absurd. He is the one who created all things. Colossians 1.16 puts it this way. By him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. And we all actually know this just by looking around at things. That's why Romans 1.19 and 20 says, For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. This means if you pondered the world and the universe, you'd come to the common sense conclusion, at least at minimum, an immaterial, powerful, personal, intelligent, spaceless, and timeless being created the universe. Whoa, now hold on a cotton pick a minute. Why would I come to that conclusion, you might ask with fervor? Well, because we know the universe began to exist, and that means it had a cause. So then, what caused it? Well, you got three choices, really. You got nothing, you got an abstract, or you got a being with the aforementioned qualities. Unprovable multiverses or crystals on the backs of turtles won't do. Now, it seems to me that Billy Preston dismantles the first option when he's saying, Nothing from nothing, leave nothing. Yeah, no, don't quit the day job, but what he spins is true, my brothers and sisters. You get nada from nothing because nothing is, as Aristotle Mm. asserted, the thing rocks dream of. Mm. So what about an abstract something? Say like the number four. Well, last I checked, the number four can't talk, can't eat, can't think, can't do much of anything. So that leaves us with the being with the same characteristics described in the Bible that we'd expect if we never read the Bible. And that being is God, the creator and sustainer of the universe. He was not made. He was not caused. He was not created. He had no beginning. He had no end. He had no superior. He has no equal. He has no boundaries. He has no limits. He has no weakness. He's infinite. He's eternal. He's all powerful. He's the alpha and omega. He's all knowing. He's spaceless. He's timeless. He's spirit. And unlike Visa, he's everywhere. Period. Might be nice to drop that mic now. And there it is. This unfounded claim that God needs a beginner or a cause or that somebody made God has been, as it were, hitherto and henceforth a debunked. Adios. This video was fully funded by a generous donation. To keep debunked videos free, please consider a tax-deductible donation or reach out to us to sponsor a video.